And we'll send it back out now to Storm Team 44 meteorologist Gunnar Console, who's tracking more sunny skies for us as we head into President's Day tomorrow, Gunnar. Yeah, so that's exciting. We've dealt with a cold weekend. At least we get one day out of the three-day weekend that a lot of us will be able to enjoy with the warmth and the sunshine. Now, right now, it is neither sunny nor warm, but things will be changing in the next 12 to 24 hours. Just take my word for it. Right now, we're taking a look over the north side of Evansville. You can see the Lloyd Expressway. We're dealing with not too much traffic as people are mostly now hunkering down in their homes for a good night's sleep, hopefully enjoying and looking forward to that extra day off. Now, looking over downtown Evansville, we're dealing with quiet conditions, barely a cloud in the sky, and clear and calm conditions allow temperatures to drop pretty good. So as we head through the night, we're going to be seeing those temperatures dropping into the low 20s. So things are going to be cold, but not nearly as cold as last night. I noticed my heater was definitely struggling to keep up and keep my apartment warm just because we dropped into the 16 degree mark last night. Not nearly as cold, but still on the chilly side. And you can see we're looking for those mid-20s south and around the Ohio River. But north of I-64, we could be dealing with some of those upper teens as well. So it is going to be another chilly one out there. If there's any snow still in some of those shady spots, we are still expecting it to see the sunrise tomorrow. Now, walking the dog, though, not going to be dealing with too many issues as you sleep in and look forward to walking the dog a little later, we're going to be dealing with temperatures in the mid-30s, lots of sunshine, and we are going to be dealing with temperatures that are very comfortable, not just because it's warmer than it was, it's also very calm winds, and without much wind, 30 and 40 degrees actually doesn't feel all that bad. And as we head towards tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with 54 degrees, Winds are only around five miles per hour. So with calm winds, you can find a spot in the sun for your lunch and actually enjoy it without feeling things being on the chilly side. So we got a nice forecast tomorrow. But if you do try to take advantage of the warmer conditions, you are going to want to maybe go on a walk or go on a hike south of I-64, south of the Ohio River. That's where we're dealing with those 50s. The 40s are going to be stubborn towards the north, and they are going to hold out through the afternoon. But you'll also want to get those plans done before 4.30, because as we head towards 4.30, we're still seeing those 50s. But by the time 5.30 rolls around, we already see those 40s rolling back into the picture. Same with those 30s. Again, this time of the year, we can get warm days, but as soon as the sun goes down, things get very cold no matter how warm it is during the afternoon. That's just the fact of February. But we are going to be dealing with a sunny start to the four-day work week. We're going to be dealing with sunny skies Tuesday, some high sea risk clouds, but not too much cloud cover. Cloud cover increases Wednesday, but at least it's warmer. But it is a little breezier, so maybe not as easy to go for a bike ride. And especially as we head towards Thursday, Thursday is not going to be ideal because we are going to be dealing with rain chances returning to the forecast. Some of those rain chances are going to embody themselves with a general threat for thunderstorms. No severe component expected, and that's really the only day we are going to continue to deal with that Sunday stretch after that brief lull.